Hey everyone, my name is Fallout, and welcome to a new mini-series I'm kicking off on the channel called Be A Better Gamer. Now, I'm mainly known by those here for being a Destiny player, but unsurprisingly, I play many other games as well, and the things I intend to talk to you about in this series will apply to almost any game. The goal, of course, being to help you, the gamer, get better at the games that you play. There will be multiple episodes in this series, and the topic of today's episode is the try-hard defense. If you're a gamer who's spent more than 10 minutes playing some form of online multiplayer, then you're probably familiar with the word try-hard. It's an insult thrown from one player to another, usually after the game, usually to the winner from the loser for their choice of playstyle. It happens often if the winning player has used a weapon or tactic generally thought of by some as too strong or too easy. Why do people say this? At the core, it seems like an odd insult. I know the following discussion may trigger some players, but again, remember the point of this at the end of the day is to help you be a stronger player, so bear with me here. The reason people use this insult is because it's a defense mechanism. It's a form of placing blame off of yourself after a defeat. Admitting that you were beaten, even in a game, can feel like admitting weakness, which most people don't like to do. So beaten players will accuse the winner of trying too hard as a way of softening the blow or diverting blame off of themselves for getting the L. The problem with doing this is that you're making excuses and excuses prevent learning. If you watch top esport players competing in the games they love, you will almost never see any player lose the big game, grab the microphone, and declare to the crowd that the reason they lost is because the winner is nothing more than a goddamned tryhard. What most top level teams or players do is review their matches after the fact, not just to figure out how and why exactly they lost, but also to plan on what to do differently next time if faced with a similar situation in the future. But Fallout, you may be saying right now, the difference is that esport gamers are trying to win a cash prize and I am just playing an online game, not performing in a tournament. And while that is true, you can't blame people who play games with the only goal being to win for the fun of it, even if there isn't a prize or cash reward. Every game that pits players against one another in some way will logically end with both a team or player that wins and a team or player that doesn't. And given those two possible outcomes, I think most people would agree that winning is generally more enjoyable than losing. Just as there is nothing wrong with playing a game with the goal of only goofing around and having fun, there is nothing wrong with playing to win. Every gamer is allowed to play their games the way that they want to. If you're here with the goal of trying to increase your rate of win for whatever game it is you play, you must take this phrase and remove it from your brain. If you use it, you are hurting yourself. It's a form of excuse making, and again, excuses prevent learning and improvement. This doesn't mean you're not allowed to be upset if you lose, though. It's only human nature to be frustrated or downright pissed off when getting a loss, especially to a tactic you might find annoying to deal with. The only difference is how you go on from that point. Will you think about exactly how that tactic prevented you from winning? Will you think about what you could do differently if faced with the exact same situation next time? Time to learn! You wanna learn today! Will you think about the possibility of changing your strategy or playstyle to adapt and better fight against how you were beaten? Or will you make excuses? That's it for now, my name is Fallout and thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more gaming content, and don't forget to click the bell to become part of the notification squad. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.